So, like, to give some of these people an idea of maybe why you go on reality TV shows, like, what are some of the grand prizes on these shows that you're on? You know, um, honestly, I never thought huh, in a million years a million years that I'll be doing reality TV. My first reality TV was with Jerry Springer, if y'all did not know this. Yeah. This was on a game show network. It was called Baggage on the Road. And the object of that game was whoever has the less baggage, the woman to pick the guy and you win that. Well, I ended up winning that. And MTV just saw me and I got picked for Are You The One? And then Are You The One? How much money did we win? When we did Are You The One, the grand prize was a million dollars, but we lost 250000 that season because of a twist. And we ended up, what, going home? We were supposed to win about, like, forty-seven, And then the way they do it is, like, the lottery. So you basically, it's like, oh, we'll give you $1,000 every year for 47 years, or you can take, like, 25 Gs right now. <laughs> Remember took, that? Yeah, 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 took, yeah, yeah. 25 Gs yeah. after tax, it was, like, 22, 23. Yeah, it was like yeah, 20 grand or some shit. Um, well, you know, that's a big step up from uh, baggage on the road because I won a Texas Roadhouse dinner, a free <laughs> free dinner. That's what I won on my first reality no. TV show. Swear to God, dude. And the thing is, the girl had a whole boyfriend at home and a kid. No, yes, she lied? Right there and then. Right wow. there and then. I'm on my first reality TV show, and a woman lies to me. So I knew what this was all about. This was about entertainment. You were ready. Yeah, you're a seasoned vet. Now some of the shows Nelson's on, they're literally competing for million-dollar prizes. And it's not like when we won, you actually get that million dollars, right? Right. We actually get that million dollars. You know, um, And he's talking about the challenge, people. This is – I've done seven seasons. Yes, sir. Seven now. Seven, Holy bro. shit, dude. I've been to seven different countries, Colombia, Thailand, um, Mexico. I've been to uh, South Africa, um, Iceland. I've been everywhere around the world, man, and it's been a blessing. Damn. That's I'm the best jealous, thing about bro. this show, dude. See, they never called <laughs> me for this fucking show. I would have crushed it. You would have, dude. You would have. You know why? I think it's because I got wifed up after Are You The One. I had a girlfriend. And like those shows, they kind of want people that are single, no? No. Uh, you know, yeah. I thought the same thing. But you know what? You honestly, what separated me from everybody from getting picked was that big blowout that you and I had on Are You <laughs> yeah, The One, right? bro. Zach and I kissed. What happened today, Zach? Gave Cheyenne a kiss, bro, and I said to her, I want to tell Nelson what happened. Why didn't you tell me why I like getting in the house then? What Maybe stopped you? I told her. Right. Right. Man, that's right. I wanted why, to come to my That's right. No, I wanted to come to No, that's your bro. match. It might, it might be your match. I don't know, bro. We don't know at this uh, point. It was me getting into fights and yeah. acting a like fool. What MTV saw is this guy's crazy. Yeah. They, <laughs> they were right. <laughs> they were right. How many fucking shows have you been kicked off now? Oh, uh, dude, I've probably been kicked off probably... Three, four shows now, bro, from losing my temper, bro. Wow. It's been, yeah, and I hate it, bro. I hate that I say that because I lost a lot of money, a lot of money losing my uh, losing my temper on these shows, and I hated it, bro. I totally hated it. But um, you live and learn, and you grow from the experiences, and you realize the mistakes you make, and you don't make them again because, trust me, they played me like boo-boo the fool, bro. Yep. Um, but it's like some people say like oh the the editing the editing but it's like if you don't give them that material how are they going to make you look bad you know oh, you gave yeah. them that material they're going to use it people ask me every day is that how do you become the bad guy or how do you become the good guy or how do you not want to get portrayed as some slut on tv and mm -hmm. that's basically what it is but at the end of the day you have to realize they're there to make a tv show entertainment sex Fighting just sells, bro. Sells, yep. And if you're going to be paint on the wall, you're not going to get casted for these shows. You have to be outgoing. You have to be yourself. You have to be willing to put it all on the table and give two fucks what everybody thinks. Yeah. Because that's exactly why, how I've made it so far on these you, shows. You play this shit so <laughs> well, dude. And I see you. Whether uh, we were on Are You The One or we're like going like to you know meet up with Corey or Cheyenne, do some teen mom shit they just happened to film. You always know where to fucking <laughs> place yourself, what to say, and who to talk to. And next thing you know, the camera crew is running over and following right you. And this there. guy's like, I'm like, this motherfucker just <laughs> plays it, bro. You were born for this. So bro, when the camera turns on, I don't know what triggers me, but it just makes me just want to entertain people and get down to yeah. the needy greedy. You're a legend. You're a legend. <laughs> okay, well, let's go back a little bit. Where tells everything? Where did you grow up? So I grew up in um, L.A., uh, Inglewood, people, if you did not know. Um, I spent some of my high school years in Texas. I ended up graduating high school in Texas and then 
went to college at Texas State University, and um, ever since then, 16 years old, I've always chased the film industry. I've always been in love with acting, and um, I was doing TV shows. You know, one of my first TV shows was Friday Night Lights. Uh, I've done commercials. I've Bro, done... you're on Friday Night Lights? That's yeah. like my favorite show ever. Doesn't he look like the missing Wayne's brother? <laughs> right? <laughs> He's like the, the 17th time. Wayne's brother. I know, That's man. We're moment. brothers. We're happy, and we... Give me your hot. No. <laughs> <laughs> this thing moves, by the way. If you want to oh, move it closer to you, uh, so you don't have to like lean in. Bet. Oh, there yeah. you go. Um, okay, so you grew up in LA, mm -hmm. moved to Texas. How how'd you get casted for? Are you the one, bro? Um, honestly, like I said, I uh, I got casted. Did My, you have an agent or something? Yeah, I had an agent, and they casted me for um, the Jerry Springer show for Baggage on the Road. My agent says, "Hey, do you want to make some extra money?" And I was like, "What? Doing what?" She says, "Well, are you single?" I was like, "Well." What is a job? <laughs> and how much? Like, does even it if pay? I'm not, how <laughs> much does it pay? Was the first question, huh? Exactly. So um, after that, man, um, like I said, I did baggage on the road, and my agent got me that. And all of a sudden, I get this phone call from MTV saying, "Hey, do you want to do an all you the one interview?" It wasn't even all you the one interview because we didn't even know what we were interviewing for. Yeah. We did a FaceTime, and then they flew us out to LA. Then I ended up with this fucker in a hotel room, yeah. which is acting a fool, going through these audition process. I'm like, God, bro, do damn. you remember that case? Okay, so for everyone that doesn't understand how reality TV works, you go through like a. Uh, a number of steps. First mm -hmm. step would be like your paper submission. Then if they like it, they get you on Skype. If they like the Skype, you go to the final round where they fly you out, put you in a hotel room where you're not supposed to talk to anyone, and then the, you get interviewed by the executives. And for Are You The One, we met with psychiatrists, mm -hmm. fucking uh, the executives. They bring you in a room, and you're like a science experiment. You're, they're just like in the front, and they're like, make us laugh. Make I'm, us do this. Show us how you would pick up that woman, like, exactly. right now. Exactly. I'm glad you said that the key word right there was science experiment because yeah. that's exactly what reality TV is, man. Mm -hmm. um, you put 10 people, 10 girls, and you just put them in a the house and you put the cameras on and you see yeah. how these people react. And you take away technology so they're forced everything, to interact. Everything. Yeah. You isolate these people and you make them wonder what's going on in the real world, which they have no communications, no family communications, no TV, no radio, no phone you just in this house right. competing just competing no matter what you're doing if you're on a dating show or a competitive show but um yeah man um, you don't even, we didn't even hear music for like two months because they couldn't play a song that was famous because of royalties and shit like mm -hmm. we had nothing dude but you know there's one step that he did leave out and this is a step i get ask all the time in my dms all the time nelson what how should i video my 45 seconds or five minute video to these people because you send a submission video of what your oh, life yeah, is all yeah. about how you was know? yours what did you do what did you do so basically i had a meathead video of me doing some pull-ups and push-ups <laughs> and then me catching a bottle and just drinking out the bottle with my guys playing video games and me acting like i was on a phone call with some girl and like yeah you know i might meet you out i might not we'll see baby girl I got these push-ups, and I was just all manly and wow. me at it. It's a stupid, stupid kid, man. It was, was hilarious. Mine was funny, bro. I, I actually matched with girls on Tinder and took them on dates and filmed it. Are you serious? Yeah. I didn't show you that. <laughs> no. I still have my casting video. Yeah, I took literally girls, and I'd be like, yo, have we ever met before filming it? And I'm like, I'm submitting this to an MTV show, like, whatever. And then I, like, would go out on the, on the weekends. I had one weekend to do it. Dude, I submitted the funniest video. They called me right away. Like, we want you on the show. Whoa. And I was like, I can't do it. That is so I kept cool, saying no, bro. dude. That is so cool. So yeah. everybody out there that uh, want to be on a reality TV show, the advice I can give you when you do these casting calls is be yourself. Because at the end of the day, if these cameras are going to show you no matter what, you can try to put, portray – this bad guy or this cool dude, but that doesn't work out at all because when you go on these TV shows and the camera lights action and you're just wallpaper, you're not yeah. doing shit. You got to cause some <laughs> shit, whether it's a fight, a love story, you got to give them something. Give them something. Give, give yeah. some entertainment. Give the people right. wondering why are you there? What makes you so special? Why did they pick you out of millions of people? Because you have a chance of a lifetime to make something out of this opportunity because trust me, people, I've made a life and it's been crazy. It's been a blessing, and um, you never know what door is going to open for you. Literally, I, I not even lies. I just say doing that reality TV show changed my life. Oh yeah, you and I both. Like what I was doing before, I was making videos for other people. I was like a director. I was doing music videos and like commercials and like 
other things and i was always having problems with the artists and then right. I, you know we went on the tv show i got a little bit of a following and i was like shit now i can make videos for myself and for brands and it took me all over the fucking world dude it did bro yeah made, bro we, it's all good we cut it you made some <laughs> you made some <laughs> sick ass videos around the world bro and not only that you did fall in love and that's the experience you find on these um a lot of people ask, is it fake? And that's mm -hmm. a question I get all the know, time, bro. And I'm saying, no, it's not fake. I actually have feelings for these girls. Yeah. Um, I actually got in a fight. I actually got kicked off the show. I yeah. actually, those tears were real. Um, the emotions you see, it's all real, people. Um, you got to realize, like, you're cooped up with these people and you become like a family and you fight with family and we all do we do we do and then there's alcohol and they make some feelings and then you know something happens right, <laughs> we man. got into that <laughs> shit bro you end up in a relationship afterwards and people wonder why Ordering, how do you jump into a relationship being with somebody you don't even really know outside the show because people like to wear a mask too yeah so you don't even know if people are like really being their self or it's just portraying to be somebody else yeah and that's what sucks bro. like devin oh yeah I mean, there's a guy named devin on our season that like played into totally being the villain but he's mm -hmm. secretly not like that at all but he knew how to play it dude he was playing a part and he got the most airtime i agree i totally agree that guy's a super nice guy dude to this day he's still a little piece of shit but uh <laughs> yeah, <straight laughs> i love up, him he's up. my piece of shit 